work. My uh, ex-wife cheated on me with my best man. I promised myself that my next best man, best man is going to be a lesbian. That one felt better for me. Okay, moving on. I still have to go that because I, uh, yeah, anyway, moving on. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, uh, I heard someone talk about movies. I think the third guy was talking about movie stuff here earlier. There's a lot of movies out these days that are 3D. And I mean, that's cool. Kids, I think, it's a little unfair. When I was a kid, if I wanted to watch a movie in 3D, I would have to take mushrooms first. <laughs> that's just not fair for me, I think. I'm just spiteful like that. Have you guys heard of that new drug out there I, I, on CNN? It's not two months or something like that. Uh, that makes you go crazy and eat people's faces. Hmm. You guys heard of that? Yeah. It's called marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, I, I, I'm a huge zombie activist, so I was following that story. And uh, the toxicology came back, and they thought it was bath salts, but it turns out he just had marijuana in his system. That's a fact. I don't know about you, that's like the worst case of munchies I think I've ever seen. In my life. <laughs> <laughs> he actually didn't even use barbecue sauce with that, which just, like boggles my mind. That's, um, I think, the worst marijuana related incident that I think I've ever heard of in my life. I personally have never heard. When is the last time you heard a domestic disturbance over two people fighting over pizza pops? You know? <laughs> that just doesn't happen. I actually would like to, I would have loved to have gotten a call, that call from 911 over that case. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, let's report a, a robbery in progress. Hey! Woman, you better put those pizza pops down <laughs> before this turns into a murder in progress. <laughs> 911 will be on the line. Sir, calm down. Help is on the way. Please will be there in 30 minutes before the police. <laughs> um, now that I'm older, actually, the, the closest thing to a domestic disturbance when I grew up was uh, when my parents used to kick me outside to play so that the adults could talk. <laughs> <laughs> I may have been eight, but I wasn't born yesterday. I know what that meant. They wouldn't smoke the weed. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm older, I find myself doing that to my friends' as kids. <laughs> Uh, I was over at my friend's house the other day, and uh, the three-year-old Tyson was watching Dora the Explorer on TV. And his mom was like, okay, Tyson, time to go outside. Time to let us play outside. Looked at me straight in the eyes. And I was like, this is some motherfucking bullshit. And I, all I could do was nod, because he was right. This is some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That's the circle of life. And I had to go through it, so he had to go through it. They say when you uh, talk in public, you should pick your audience naked. <laughs> what I like to do is I like to smoke weed and picture my audience as food. <laughs> the problem with that is about halfway, about halfway through my set, I, I kind of forget why I'm up here and I wonder why all you cheeseburgers are laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> cheeseburger has hair. <laughs> I, uh... I have to quit smoking weed for school. I do, however, celebrate the uh, National Marijuana Weed Smoking Holiday, which is 420, uh, otherwise known as Bring Your Baked Goods to Work Day. <laughs> I don't know what you do, but am I the only one here looking forward to the year 2020 so I can get high the entire month of April? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> The one you smoke in the audience, right. we should talk after the set. <laughs> yeah. Um, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm in school uh, for aviation. I'm going to be a pilot. Two, thank you. To get over my fear of heights, though, because I always have fear of heights, I, I decided to go skydiving first. And uh, the, best, the best response I've ever heard was from my skydiving instructor, this girl. Asked the dumbest questions throughout all the class, and, and finally, for hundreds of questions, she put her hand up after we were learning for a six hour class. She's like, If the parachute fails, how long do I have to pull my reserve? And with the straightest face, the instructor looks at her, and I kind of, I, I laughed for 30 minutes, I'll tell you. He looks at her, and he's like, The rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. We'll play you back off. I'll be like,